Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto and today we're going to do a special recipe. We're going to do an artisan bread. And just so you know, this is not a fathead recipe and there are no eggs involved. So if you're interested in learning how to make this traditional style artisan bread, just keep watching. I decided that it just wanted to conk out on me, so we still need to get this done. The show must go on, right? So I'm gonna try to have as steady of a hand as I can. Adding one cup of warm water to the bread machine. Then the recipe calls for one third of a teaspoon of salt. This recipe is not skimping on the leavener as it calls for two tablespoons of the baking powder, and then we're also going to be adding yeast to the bread maker. Okay, it's not bad getting it level with one hand here, all right. Okay. Then we're gonna wanna add two and a half cups of the Flourish fiber. It's an all-purpose, high-fiber, all-purpose flour. That's a good low-carb flour. I just found this one on Amazon. What really drew me and captured my attention and curiosity was that it is a good source of prebiotic fiber. So this can be a good option also for people who have a hard time eating wheat or consuming things that may be glutinous because that prebiotic fiber, that factor can help pre-digest some of that for you. So for some people, that's why when they're eating like say sourdough and fermented breads and other fermented foods, sometimes they can get away with eating things that they otherwise could not if it weren't fermented and having prebiotics and being semi-digested already before they even start eating it. Let's get a little look at it. Look at that. Ooh, it's a nice fine mill. Look at that. Yeah, that's really nice. I think that's gonna do great. Okay, let's get this in the bread machine, two and a half cups. Okay, now we're gonna wanna get one half of a tablespoon of instant active yeast. Your machine to the dough setting and let it start kneading your dough. And of course, fam, you can go ahead and knead your dough by hand. I'm excited to try out this bread machine and see how it works and learn all its features. So I wanted to do the bread in the machine, but you can of course do it by hand as well. Also keep in mind, the company does say that the flour is very absorbent. So you may need to add a touch more water to get the right consistency. Okay, so the dough has gone through the kneading phase. It's actually been in here proofing for about 20 minutes now because I had to put my son back in class. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look, 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 look. Ooh, it's so soft, perfectly kneaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and put it into a proofing bowl and let it set up and proof for eight hours. Okay, so we're gonna twist this and get this out. And what we're gonna wanna do is get a little bit of flour into the bowl here to prevent the dough from sticking. And then we're just gonna set it in here for eight hours covered with saran wrap. Let it continue to rise. This is only 20 minutes and it's already risen a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that flipped out. Bear with me guys, I'm trying to make this happen with one hand here. So this is our dough. Look how beautiful. This is our dough. Okay buddy, hold on. Okay. 
Okay, so you want the seam side up, smooth side down. Also keep in mind, the dough will rise significantly and then it will drop a little bit like you see here and that's a good sign, it should be like that. After your bread is proofed, go ahead and turn it out onto a lightly floured surface. Look at that beautiful design. That's actually not going to remain because we're going to fold the dough on into itself the way the recipe suggests. But once we set it back down into the proofing bowl again, some of the lines will show up a bit. And it definitely makes sense to go ahead and do that folding in process, folding the dough in on itself because even though it was covered this whole time it was a little bit dry so this definitely makes a whole bunch of sense i didn't want to mess up the design but we're just going to go ahead get this into a circular shape and it'll be fine maybe i'll put it in there for a little bit longer just to get the shape going again uh, let it rise for a bit and then pop it in the Dutch oven and get this baking. I can't wait to see if this comes out properly. I'm really excited and I'm nervous. Let's see. Once you're ready to bake your bread, you'll wanna lay down a piece of parchment paper and then just go ahead and add a little bit of oil onto the paper to help to prevent sticking. Then take your bread out and give it a little score to help with the design and also the baking process. Also guys, major tip, you'll want to preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit at least 30 minutes before you start baking and put your Dutch oven with the lid inside to let that get really, really hot too. And then what you want to do is set the bread on the parchment paper like you saw me do before and just lower that into the pot, cover it. You'll want to cook for 20 minutes to 30 minutes covered and then uncover it for 15 minutes or so until it gets to the brownness you prefer. Once baked, you'll want to pop your bread out and place it onto a cooling rack and let it cool completely before cutting into it for the best texture. That's at least two hours. I left mine on the countertop overnight covered. And then the next day, this is what we had, Diva Fam. Some delicious artisan bread. You can do this at home. You can have fresh bread every day at home. And it's absolutely keto. The starch that's in this flour, it is more slowly absorbed into the body and digested. So it helps to prevent the spikes of blood sugar that you get in some other wheat derived flours. So I hope you guys were able to try the flour, make the bread. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you love it. Share this recipe and video with somebody you think will love it as well. And until the next time, Diva Fam, as always, stay safe and be well. Happy baking. Bye-bye.